Hey, what's going on? It's B Josh showing you guys Chris' left hand beam rifle today. So, this weapon is listed as a legendary. The description for it is it's an advanced beam rifle that fires a burst of energy with each pull of the trigger. So, I'm really not a huge fan of this beam rifle. I really like the Sword of the Faithful one more than this one, which is the ultra rare variant that I showed you guys not too long ago. And this is the legendary variant, so I thought it would be a little bit better than the Sword of the Faithful, but it actually isn't. Now, the reason why I don't like it as much is because it pretty much kicks a lot when you fire off a shot. And the reason why it kicks so much is because it does fire that extra energy uh, burst. Um, so I definitely don't like that about it. It just kind of throws my shot off, I feel. Um, I feel like it kind of makes me go above their head if I'm aiming at their hand with that, with that kickback. Um, so I don't like how it doesn't feel as smooth when you fire up a shot. Whereas the Sword of the Faithful Beam Rifle definitely felt a lot more smoother. Um, so I like that one more because of that reason. Uh, a good thing about this weapon though is that it does have a pretty decent amount of ammo. You can use it for quite a long time and you can get some good multi-kills with it because of that extra ammo that it has in it. Um, so I definitely like that about it. It def definitely has some more ammo than the basic beam rifle, so that's really good. I think it's about the same amount of ammo as the Sword of the Faithful. I'm really not too sure on that though, but I think it is. Now with all that said, I did end up doing pretty decent with this weapon. I think I got a few Killtaculars, overkills for sure, triple kills, doubles in these clips that you guys will see here. So I did alright with it, pretty much the same as the Sword of the Faithful uh, beam rifle. Um, so I was pretty happy about that, even though I didn't like it as nearly as much. But I also got to give a shout out to some of you guys. I got to give a shout out to Elite and Power6. You guys gave me some of these, so thank you so much for that. You definitely helped me get some of these clips here. I really do appreciate it. As for how this weapon looks, I definitely like the way it looks. I like that it has the white and red mixed in there and also that light blue combination. Um, I think it looks better than the other beam rifle variants of this weapon. Um, looks better than the Sword of the Faithful and the regular beam. So I do like that about this weapon for sure. So that's pretty much my take on Chris' left hand beam rifle like I said before. I don't like it as much as Sword of the Faithful because it does have that extra kick when you fire off a shot. Um, but it's a decent weapon nonetheless. I do, um, I, I will pick it up for sure like if it was laying on the ground and just use it because it is a sniper rifle after all. And uh, who, do, who wants to waste a sniper rifle? Um, but yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy that video. Thank you so much for watching it. I really do appreciate it. If you did, please give a thumbs up. That'd be great. If you're new, subscribe. That'd be even better. And I'll see you guys next video. See ya.